10 Things You Can Do To Be Proactive If It Feels Like You're Losing Your Mind Do you experience situations in life where you feel completely overwhelmed and like you're going to lose your mind at any second? Does it feel like your job, kids, partner, bills, or stress are driving you crazy? Keep watching this video until the end to find out 10 things you can do to be proactive if it feels like you're losing your mind. Taking the first step that aims to prevent problems before they arise is known as proactive behavior. Preparing for a future circumstance rather than just reacting to it is equally important to know about proactive behavior. Instead of waiting for anything to just happen or adjusting to the circumstance, it refers to taking control and starting changes early. It can become normal to feel like you're losing your mind or losing control over your life from time to time. To understand that issues and challenges are inevitable, it's necessary to look for ways to solve them. Difficulties in life may arise, but we can usually limit the negative effects and consequences of these difficulties by taking an active role in addressing and managing them. So, how do you approach this problem? What are some effective solutions to declutter your mental state and physical environment from the extreme confusion and distress they can bring? Being proactive isn't just about addressing an issue in advance. It's also about being preventive when possible and making wise and meaningful decisions that can help you tackle the problem in the future. Also, it can help you come up with answers to your questions and solutions for your issues. If you're proactive and persistent, you may identify the reasons or things that are causing you to feel anxious or depressed as well. In this way, solutions can be found for your problems. If you're ready to take a more proactive stance in your daily interactions, so you don't feel like you're losing your mind, here are 10 tips to consider. Number 1. Pay attention to what you have control over. You'll have more time to plan your day if you work on what you can control. As a result, excessive ruminating about things that are out of your control can cause you stress and harm your mental health. There's no sense in getting upset and bent out of shape mentally for things beyond your control. This can cause the opposite effect and have you feeling like you're spiraling into an emotional and chaotic state. Instead, focus on controlling what you can and not what you can't, so that you don't put yourself under unnecessary stress and jeopardize your mental well-being. Organize your thoughts in life and control things within your reach. As a result, you will be better equipped to address issues that put our mental health at risk. Number 2. Be responsible for your success. It can become a trap of dependency to always depend on others for your well-being and especially if you're of sound mind and able-bodied. To be productive, you must always put your attention on what you can do for yourself, first and foremost, rather than what others can do for you. Once you allow yourself to become dependent on someone's help or verbal praises rather than first do what you can for self and push yourself, you can set yourself up for disappointment, failure, and risk becoming depressed. One of the best ways to combat depression and other mental health issues is to cultivate a strong sense of personal responsibility and accountability. In one way or another, you can have something to look forward to that can improve your health. Your mental health may be saved by taking responsibility for your own successes and failures. Number 3. Think big. It's essential to think about your long-term goals and objectives, but not take on so much that you begin to feel bombarded and experience undue mental anguish. Everything may seem like a concern to you at times, but don't get so mentally bogged down that you forget what you initially set out to accomplish. Think outside the box when you're dealing with a lot of difficulties. Think big but start small. Successfully complete your goals in bits and pieces first before taking on huge chunks of responsibility. The act of focusing your attention on something outside of yourself has been shown to be beneficial to your mental well-being. Number 4. Stay healthy. Staying healthy has been shown to improve one's mood, even if we hear about it all the time. Foods that are good for the body can help to improve your mental health in one way or another so that your overall health is an optimal state and your cognitive functioning is at its peak. All balanced diets are beneficial to your health if you eat a lot of nutritious foods. Number 5. Decide what's most important. Even if you try, you'll end up being reactive and just going aimlessly from one thing to the next. Prioritizing your plans and goals in the order of importance may lead to greater success. 
This can depend on what's most needed, beneficial, and effective for you to keep things together in life. You must identify your most urgent and important needs and your priorities must be established and then followed. Preventing an unstructured home or work environment and improving time management are two benefits of this approach. Number 6. Do scenario planning. Make a strategy based on the most likely outcomes. If something goes awry, you can have a better chance of being prepared and gaining an advantage for your plans and goals. The two go hand in hand because they expedite problem solving by allowing you to see the bigger picture. You can experience mental confusion and feeling overwhelmed if you don't at least anticipate and plan for potential negative events. There's nothing wrong with brainstorming for a few available options and solutions ahead of time to effectively deal with problems that can happen. Number 7. Take action. Don't be a spectator and just wait for things to happen. Taking calculated and strategic risks and exercising actions may result in failure, but it can also increase your chances of success and eliminate or lessen your concerns. Rather than slacking off or relying on someone else to take care of your immediate needs, you should work on starting the process to get results yourself or recruiting the help of others who are knowledgeable, experienced, and have a proven track record. Number 8. Keep a positive attitude. Your mental health improves when you remain optimistic and hope for the best yet planned for the worse and unexpected. It's impossible to be an optimist if you allow yourself to stay stifled by bad or negative thoughts. Positivity encourages the emergence of additional solutions. Even after the problem has been solved, you can make better decisions about how to prevent it from happening again if you remain positive and not allow a negative or pessimistic attitude to make you feel like you're losing your mind. Number 9. Talk it out. Sharing your problems and challenges with people you trust is an important element in keeping things mentally together. Simply by having a shoulder to lean on when you're feeling your lowest, a problem shared with a friend can help to improve your mental state and health. Don't be afraid to seek support and help. Sharing problems with others can improve your life and allow you to get encouraged to take actions that are proactive and preventive through honest, constructive, and helpful feedback. Number 10. Be prepared to face obstacles. You must be prepared to deal with problems when they arise. There's no reason to wait until they become unbearable before taking action. It's difficult or impossible to learn to become mentally resilient when you constantly back down from facing your challenges. Preparedness is key when it comes to dealing with difficult situations that pose a threat to your mental well-being. The bottom line is that you can take all these steps and more to always ensure that you're proactive and preventive. Focus first on your priorities and what's most urgent and important in your life, and you may find that you can best manage or overcome the feeling of losing your mind. Organize your thoughts, daily tasks, and life by writing things down and not taking on too much at one time. Additionally, some natural herbs such as ginseng, sage, peppermint, and rosemary may help your focus and cognitive functioning. Consider getting medical advice from a knowledgeable and experienced medical professional or doctor to rule out medical issues if it feels like you're literally losing your mind. The ability to be proactive and preventive is not an impossibility. When faced with a problem, you should look for possible solutions outside of your immediate environment. Instead of freaking out when a problem or challenge arises, you should maintain your composure and work towards solutions. If this video was helpful, we'd be thankful if you like, subscribe, hit the notification button, share, comment, or leave a thumbs up below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the top floor.